So I'll warn you before I play this video, this is New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announcing that she's just suspending your constitutional right to keep and bear arms because she has unilaterally decided it's an emergency because an 11-year-old child was shot. Now, clearly, that's a horrendous tragedy as a parent. I can't even fathom what that would be like to have to lose your child, but then to have the added tragedy of that child being murdered, being shot, I can't even fathom it. Like, my mind won't even compute and won't even process it. I, when I read this story, the first thing I did before I even got mad at the politics of the thing is I just said prayers for that little girl and said prayers for the family because it's truly so awful. But the reaction to something that's this awful is not to deprive everybody else of their constitutional right to keep and bear arms. Yet this is what Governor Grisham did. I will warn you before I play this video, the audio on this, on this clip is not the best. This was uh, taken at a press conference. So li you, you can hear her, but you do have to listen really closely because there's a little bit of noise in the background. So take a listen to what she says. You took an oath to the Constitution. Isn't it unconstitutional to say you cannot exercise your, your carry license? With one exception, and that is if there's an emergency, and I've declared an emergency for a temporary amount of time, I can invoke additional powers. No constitutional right, in my view, including my oath, is intended to be absolute. There are restrictions on free speech. There are restrictions on my freedoms. In this emergency, this 11-year-old and all these parents who have lost all these children, they deserve my attention to have the debate about whether or not in an emergency we can create a safer environment. Because what about their constitutional rights? I took an oath to uphold those two. And if we ignore this growing problem without being bold, I've said to every other New Mexican, your rights are subrogated to theirs. And they are not, in my view. Uh, wait a minute, okay. you're talking about crimes. There are already laws against the crimes, so how are their rights? I got it. But, but again, if I'm unsafe, who's standing up for that right? If this climate is so out of control, somebody should do something. I'm doing as much as I know to do. Governor, yep. Do you really think that criminals are going to hear this message and not carry a gun in Albuquerque on the streets for 30 days? Uh, no. But here's what I do think. It's a pretty resounding message. So first of all, I don't know who the journalists were that were asking questions in the background, but that's the first time I've actually heard journalists at a press conference ask pressing, challenging questions to a public figure. So whoever that was, uh, kudos. If you want to identify yourself, I'll give you credit for it. But that, that the questions were very good because this uh, these were the words that blew my mind. She said, no constitutional right, including my oath to uphold the Constitution, is intended to be absolute. What? What? She said, there's an exception to your rights if there's an emergency. Where is that in the Constitution? Like, where in the world does the Constitution say all of these rights are just privileges on loan to you by the federal government unless a random government in a state somewhere decides that she doesn't like these rights, in which case she's going to take them away from you at her will, her arbitrary whim, which is exactly what she did. One of the journalists pointed out that murder is already a crime. So it wasn't, by the way, a concealed carry permit holder who committed this crime. It wasn't an open carry, a legally open carry, or an individual who was legally openly carrying who committed this crime. It was a criminal. And her only response to this is somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to do something? Like this, that makes no sense to me. That, that, that makes zero sense. So somebody, anybody, doing anything is better than is not better than nothing. Sometimes not doing something, taking a moment and figuring out a prudent response is better than doing something. Your reaction is just an emotional discharge. You are just using your power or abusing your power to make yourself feel better. But what you're doing isn't going to help. It's not going to bring that little girl back to life. It's not going to catch that criminal. It's not going to save anybody else's life, and it's not going to stop any additional crimes. So somebody needs to do something is about the least emotionally mature response that I have ever heard. Because something 
just because it's something is not better than nothing. And it's not better than being specific and mature and prudent and legal. So believe it or not, even leftists thought that this was crazy that Governor Grisham did this. Ted Lieu, he's one of the most leftist members of Congress from California. This is what he posted on X. He said, I support gun safety laws. However, this order from the governor of New Mexico violates the U.S. Constitution. No state in the union can suspend the federal constitution. There is no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution. When I saw that, I was surprised it came from him. I got to tell you, David Hogg, too, the Parkland school shooting survivor turned gun control activist turned, um, I think he goes to Harvard now or something and also owns a pillow company or something. He also, and he's like, thinks that the second amendment doesn't even mean that you have a right to keep in bar arms. Like that's how radical he is. He said, I support gun safety, but there is no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution. I hate to say this because I thought I never wanted to agree with David Hogg and Ted Lieu on anything, but they're correct. That's accurate. But The somebody that should do something in this circumstance is the state legislature in New Mexico should impeach Governor Grisham. This is an impeachable offense. This is a high crime and misdemeanor. If you simply revoke the constitutional right, the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms of the citizens of your state under penalty of of violation of the law, then you should be impeached. You are unfit for office. You are abusing your power. You are a tyrant. And this will this will be a good demonstration for the people of New Mexico. Did the Republicans you elected to your state house, are they fighters? Do they understand the reality of the political enemy that we face? Because if they understand the reality, there, there'd be articles of impeachment introduced tomorrow. This wouldn't be just tweets condemning this on on. X, formerly known as Twitter, they would take action and get her out of there. And so if you are a resident of New Mexico, meaning you are a constituent of the representatives in the New Mexico State House, please reach out to your state representative and tell them to impeach this woman. Impeach her. So all of this is actually like tied together too. So what Governor Grisham did is building off of what the Democrats and some squishy Republicans did during COVID, where they used people, they exploited people's fear and claimed it was an emergency that justified violating all of your rights. This is what we predicted would happen down the line if people refused to stand up and say no during COVID. We said, well, they're going to use it for everything else. They're going to use it specifically. I remember warning they're going to use this on guns. As soon as COVID is over, they're going to declare a public health emergency on guns and they're going to suspend your rights in order to take away your guns. And this is exactly what they're now doing um, because Republicans don't know how to fight back. We have lost our way as the Republican Party. We don't fight back effectively. 